This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Before we get there, I do want to ask about the whole idea of this relationship with Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart becoming rather toxic. You know, these guys are going back and forth, you know, on the microphone in front of the camera and even behind the scenes. And I think there was a concern about maybe what the finish was going to be and how we navigate this with these two big personalities. And as the story goes, I think Jim Cornette has claimed that he was the one who said to Vince, well, you should just put Brett in the ring with Ken Shamrock and then he'll do business. Is that the way you remember it? That, Hey, if we can't, maybe we can lead the horse to water, but we can't make him drink, but maybe Ken Shamrock could make him drink. Is that the way you remember hearing that? Yeah, I remember hearing that, but you know, I, I didn't really describe it the same. I, I, you know, the whole thing was Brett, Brett, and I'm I'm not speaking in Brett, but just from hearsay. I'm uh, once again that word allegedly, just from from what I'd been hearing. You know, Brett, Brett didn't want to drop the title. I mean, for some reason, and and I just can't understand understand that issue. Several people were brought up. You know, uh, Shamrock, sure, Shamrock can, can take it, but Brett would know something, something was going on, you know, and, and, and Undertaker, well, he could put me with him, and I'm sure he would have done it, you know. He wouldn't have done it in Montreal, or he wouldn't have done it anywhere else. It could would have Taker taken him. I'm sure he would have, but, you know, that's not that, that wasn't the issue. The issue was Vince had a program built out, Cornette and all of Bruce and all those guys that, we're doing the, the creative at the time. My my job at the time was handling the uh, the agents and, and handling the live shows and things like that. So I wasn't really in every TV creative meeting. Uh, they're right on that. I wasn't in a lot of those creative meetings, but uh, I had, uh, because I was doing, we were running nightly house shows at the time. So I was daily talking to Vince, you know, giving him house show reports and all that stuff. And he'd call me uh, after we get a, get a, uh, a report. And the, the, I, I just digress a little bit from that. I remember Vince, you know, when, when, when he was making that, that offer and, and it, it, it was a complicated offer and it was complicated for, for, for Brett to accept it, but it was a sweetheart deal on Brett's side. So I think he finally realized that and accepted it. But Cornette, Cornette said Cornette did offer different things, but that wasn't the program we had going. And Shamrock and 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 Brett wouldn't have had the same buy rate as Brett and Sean. So that was kind of a business decision too about switching opponents. So hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.